Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm playing Voyager 19. Supposedly this is meant to be a space travel themed horror game. I don't know. I mean, the only horror thing I can think of is aliens, but that's kind of boring. So let's see if I'm going to be disappointed or disappointed. The official goal of this mission is to search for habitable planets in the Okrulu sector, but your real mission is to figure out what happened to the Magella Science Expedition that went missing there. The public is unaware that they're deviated from their original course and cut communications. We need to know what happened before it gets publicized. Is the Okrulu sector a real place? I don't think humanity has really started mapping the galaxy in any real way, so I'm going to assume no. We've provided you a Voyager 19 series spacecraft. It's basic but has habitation tech and fractional light speed capable engines. Well, I mean, that would be useless for long distance travel, but okay. The electronics are the main limitation. Radiation will degrade them on interstellar flights. You're sending me in a washing machine to find a bunch of people. I'm dead, but they'll remain functional for the seven missions we commissioned. Useless. Oh, what the balls? Huh. Well, this is a weird setup. It's like five nights at... Space. Mission status. Planets photographed. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, um... Hmm. This is a very weird fucking thing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, so do I have to sort of, like, work with this? Okay, so let's put power to navigation first. Okay, navigation. So... What the hell? Okay, is that what I'm meant to do? Okay, I think I've done the navigation correctly, so let's go back and... Travel. Oh god. Take picture, not centered. Okay. Um, right, so I assume that means I need to go back and do this again. What a weird game, Jesus. Okay, so let's try and get that star into the cent- oh god. Into the center. Alright, uh... Okay, that looks more better. Um... Picture good. Okay. So... Right, so I photographed one planet. Um, okay, I think I've got the hang of what you need to do. So you need to navigate to where the star is, and then you need to just photograph it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice, let's go to this shitty star and or planet and see what happens. Okay. Nice. And... Let's put the camera back on and see what we've got to work here with. Nope, don't see anything. There's something over there in the distance, but let's do a full 360 before. Ah, there is something here. Okay, this time, let's actually put the radio on. I want to see if there's anything to hear. Okay. Houston? There's nothing. Huh. Okay, there's a small, tiny little thing down there, which is what I think I saw in the distance before. So let's go there. Travel. Hmm. I wonder when this gets scary, because... I'm not exactly scared. Okay, a really, really crappy planet. And I mean, terrible. I swear I'm supposed to be looking for some people who went missing. I don't see anything. Hello? There's nothing. Huh. This was the first planet we went to. That's a bit weird. Okay, one more planet, and I guess that's the end of the mission, right? Uh, let's see if there's actually something interesting here. Nope, just another shit old planet. Whoa. I don't like that. Sounds like there's a whale on this planet. Well, it looks like the mission is complete. Entering hibernation. No! Also, is this not the most inefficient way of traveling space ever, ever, ever? Or am I just... 
drunk. Uh, okay. Same shit, different day. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Ah, a water planet. And I guarantee there'll be nothing interesting here. Hmm. Sounds like wind. So is the point of this game that it's meant to be there's no actual scare, but because you think there's going to be something you're just anticipating? I mean, I can dig it, like... Alright, let's go to this shitty planet down here and see if we can find anything. Hello? Are there any aliens here? Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, what a ugly planet. Nothing interesting to report. Also, call me a skeptic, but doing um, space travel using sublight speed vessels is probably the stupidest thing that any sentient species could do. Like, this is just stupid. If humanity does go the distance, we should not be doing this. I'm telling you. Is there anything interesting here, or am I gonna just... Nope. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, another crappy little planet. Well, that's my second mission. Oh, okay, this planet is a little more interesting. Pink! Maybe if I'm lucky, this will be the planet of the Amazons. Just a bunch of hot women, you know, a lone space explorer has come, you know. No, I wish. Magella Vessel? What? This is the first time I've seen an actual name instead of like, you know, AK-47, the planet AK-47. No, 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 no. Micrometeorite? Don't I have some sort of like, you know, shielding that's protecting me or something? Or do I ask too much? All right, let's take a picture of the damage. Who crashed into my ship? Is anyone there? Hmm. Well, I don't see anything. Maybe it was just a micrometeorite. Jeez, I thought there was going to be some aliens that were going to make things more interesting, but no. Just a micrometeorite. It's fun being a space traveler, trust, trust me, like... Um... What? Huh. It's not a planet. It's a ship! Hello? Is anyone there? Looks like there's no survivors. Mm, something's not right here. What could have scuppered the ship? Where are the crew? Did they desert their posts? Are they traitors to mankind? Me thinks the answer is yes! They are heretics. Okay, let's see what we find here. Huh. It's Jupiter, the big gas giant that everyone hates. Hello? That was kind of weird. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the files that we have. Alright, decrypt. Time left three years, Jesus. Jeez, I'm gonna have to wait three years for it to decrypt? Well, that's kind of shitty. What am I meant to do till then? Just sit on my ass and hibernate? Another hibernation, another set of pointless missions that I have to do, for fuck's sake. Also, I'm fairly sure my ship is getting worse. Like, look, the radiation is messing up everything. At this rate, I'm gonna die tomorrow, like... Not centered. For God's sake, I'm gonna have to, like, come in and toggle everything, because I can barely get this rusty hunk of shit to keep itself together. What a shit planet, oh my god. Where is all the planets of the space Amazons? The space agency lied to me. Hello? Space Amazons? Nope. Alright, let's go to this crappy little dot on the edge of literal nowhere. Also, if you were in this situation, would you want to be, like, um, 
and explore on the frontier? Like, would you want to be like, you know, one of these people on the edge of, I guess, civilization? Yeah, would you want to be one of these people on the edge of civilization? I don't know if I could do that. Like, I know, you know, pushing the frontiers and stuff. I'm not that kind of person. I just want space Amazons and good living. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my god. What? Is that a Dyson sphere? Hello? Weird. What even is that? It kind of looks like a Dyson sphere, some sort of like alien megastructure. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. I'm not sure I like that very much. Okay, before I do that, can I see the ship log? Anomaly detected in system LK. Exploration target planet LK2. Potentially habitable does not exist. Report error in astronomical data to exploration committee. So they gave fake data. That's weird. Why would they give fake data about a planet being habitable when it's not? Whoa. What? Hmm. Hmm. What can I do here? It's not in the light. Can I go to the light side of the, the thing? Okay, let's try and be clever. Let's go to the light side of this planet. So that would be a bit more here. Just on the other side. Okay, the idea was good. Just a little too far, which is fine. I can solve that. There we go. Beautiful. Pose for camera. And I think I recorded it. Yep, nothing to report again. Jeez, I'm falling asleep. Like, what's going on? All right, let's look at the file. Certain physical principles hold true across massive size differences and create illusions of similarity. A cell looks like a star in supernova. Our eyes like a nebula. What if these similarities apply to life at different scales as well? I've been out in space two seconds and now I'm Plato, Jesus. Calm down, boy. All right, let's decrypt this. Three years, whatever. Okay, let's head to FBOB. Seems like a nice place this time of year. Also, by the way, I'm going to die in this. Look at my screen. Everything's getting messed up. The controls are janky. There's rust on my spacecraft. I'm dead. And for what? A useless mission to find men and women who are probably dead already? Hello? Nothing! Okay, let's head here first, see what we can find. I'm never gonna find anything at this rate. Planet of the Space Amazons, please. <laughs> I've been alone for so long. You see, this is why on like a mission like this, I would go absolutely insane. No one in this massive lonely universe except my own thoughts. There's nothing. It's like... The thing is, I think that on a mission like this, I've actually been sent out here to die on purpose. Because why would you send... Why would you need to send a human being to do this kind of work? Why couldn't you send a probe or like some sort of like drone to do this kind of work? Why do you need a human being? It's like the people who planned this mission want me dead. Or like I've been stuck in some sort of bureaucratic cycle where someone has to do the job. And, it, and like I was chosen as though it's it's fair like that. Jesus, my computer is becoming jankier by the minute. Yeah, my computer is not having a good day. Everything is breaking down. Come on, center. Oh my God. Jesus, there we go. What even is that? That is not a planet. And I bet you I'm not gonna hear anything interesting. Hello? What? That kind of sounds like a heart, what? Okay, I don't like that at all. It's like what the guy was saying in his notes, that things that appear small are made larger by the universe. A cell becomes a supernova, a planet becomes a heart. Am I seeing this or am I hearing what I want to hear? I don't know. What I do know is I am going insane in this hunk of shit. And everything is falling about, um, around, about English. Everything is falling apart around me. Please, I just want to hear something. I want to hear the sound of a human. I want to hear something that isn't just the whine and moan of stupid machines. Come on, please, something. Anything. 
Just something that can make me feel. Oh my. Again, a lifeless planet with nothing. Come on, let me hear something. Hmm. Okay, well, there's one planet left in this star system that I have to do, and then back into stasis to feel the loneliness crushing in on me. To feel the weight of being alone out here in an uncaring, cold, sterile galaxy. If I don't hear something more human, I'm actually going to scream. Come on, there has to be something here. Come on, please, something. Maybe I'll hear something. Maybe I'll hear something. Come on, please. I mean, it almost sounds like breathing, but it's not, and I know it's not. Back into hibernation again. Why would they send me out here to do this work? Why would they send me out here to die like this? These predators may mimic food or sexual partners to lure in their prey. One example is the snapping turtle whose tongue resembles a worm. It wiggles around when fish attempt to eat it, they will instead be eaten by the, eaten by the turtles. Another form of aggressive mimicry is found in... Yeah, but am I being lured in by some sort of predator? Or is this meant to be a foreshadowing of what I'm going to find in this star system? There's only three planets here. But the thing is, right now, being here in this planet, I'm so lonely that I'm starting to go insane. It's like there's this crushing sense of dread that overshadows everything I do. And as this picture deteriorates, so does my mind, so does my sanity. My only window to the outside world is pulling further away from me. Please, something. It's actually just another star again. It's not fair. <laughs> Please, let me hear something. Okay, this is smaller. Maybe... No, I thought it was going to be maybe another um, spacecraft, but it looks like it's another small moon or something. Whatever. I swear to God, I need to hear something. I need to see something. I need to feel something. Otherwise, I just don't... Yep, that's all I get. And I can barely see things now. Come on, maybe I'll hear something. Bro, the way my fucking soul dropped when I just don't hear anything. Like, how do I not know that every person on Earth is dead? How do I not know that all my colleagues are dead? How do I not know I'm doing this task and no one is even going to see the results anyway? I'm so far from everything and everyone. Well, one more and then we're out of this star system and on to the next one. I couldn't think of anything better. This does make me wonder though, you know how people say that loneliness is a choice? Is it a choice? What? I've seen this already. How can this be here? Am I gonna hear the beat of a heart again? Come on. Well, it's better than nothing. At least it's something that can make me feel. Okay, it looks like we're on to the last mission. Is loneliness a choice? I don't know. It certainly feels like it here. Alright, what does my file say? What do I- what am I thinking? You, user, he's changed, but... Our course and disabled the comm system. Right, so the committee can't remotely override our route when they find out. This is dangerous, the ship's designed to last at least 60 years. But with the route he wants, we will be out here for almost a hundred. Wait, so did one person on their crew go insane? That's kind of what it sounds like. Maybe that person was like me, maybe they were just left out here to rot and they couldn't take it anymore. I mean, at this rate, I'm dead anyway. And what did I achieve other than convince myself that a bunch of dead men were dead. Hello, come on. Whoop. 
There's something here. There's something here. Maybe at last I'm not fully alone anymore. I will find them. If they are here, I will find them. I mean, I have to find them. Otherwise, what have I been doing this whole time? If I'm at least going to die out here in space, I want to at least do what I set out to do. Come on. Because with every passing um, second, everything is falling apart, so... Come on. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to hear anything, but I can hope, right? Come on, give me something. I think this is a trick. I think... I think my own mind is getting to me. I mean, there's no one out here. That planet is not a heart, is it? And I bet that's the the message of this game. There was never, like, any crew at all. I've just been sent on this useless error. This useless errand to die. Like... Come on. This is the same thing I saw last time. Come on. Surely I'm gonna hear something now. I swear, if it's another beat... Jesus, that was close. If it's another beating heart, I might just break my monitor. No, this is a troll. This is a troll. No, I'm not listening to this anymore. This is just stupid. Jeez. One planet over and then this hell can end. Like, I do like how they try to make it realistic, like you have to position yourself correctly in, in reference to the actual uh, planet or star. That's a nice feeling. I don't like this feeling of crushing loneliness. Jeez. It does show, though, that when you are lonely, like when you are existentially lonely, you do eat yourself. You feed on your own mind because you've got nothing else. And that can break a person. Come on. Finally. Oh my god. I found an actual planet with actual life. Which means I'm not gonna die. I might be saved, actually. After all this suffering, after all this quiet, after all this loneliness. Finally, hope against all the odds for me. I've made it. I have found my promised land. No, no, I'm not going to die now. No, I'm not going to die now. I refuse. I didn't come all this way and experience all this pain to die just, you know, steps away from my promised land. I'm not having that. No. Come on, give me something. What happens now? I don't need to go into hibernation anymore. Engine's not responding. What do you mean, engine's not responding? I'm fine. This isn't fair, what do I do? I've done the mission. What? Wait, what? How is... It... But it was meant to be a planet, how... What's going on? No. Was it a trap? What's going on? Something's happening. No. Oh my god. Voyager 19 craft has failed to establish communications. Losses cannot be hidden from public any longer. Recommend waiting until election cycle is over. What?
Oh my god. That was way too stressful. That was literally... Honestly, what I'll give this game really, really props on is honestly when you're doing the missions, that sense of genuine loneliness you feel, that sense of longing for finding what you've been looking for is so much the thing. When I saw the planet, I was genuinely like elated. To have it taken away is just cruel. Jeez, I need to lie down, think about if loneliness is a choice or I don't know. I want to give this game I don't even know what to give this game. Question mark out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, I don't know. But that that was rough. That was yeah. But in a bit. Peace.